Hello Capricorn and welcome to Soul Sundays. Capricorn, it's a quick three card spread, three cards from the tarot, one card for your romance energy, one card for your health. And because we have an eclipse, a full moon eclipse in our sign this Sunday, the 5th of July, I'm going to pull for you an additional Oracle card from the Chakra Mindset deck to help you align to your soul energy. So are you ready? Let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Capricorn. Please show me what they need to hear and what they want to hear for their week ahead. Week beginning the 5th of July, 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Can I please have three cards? Three cards for Capricorn energy. Ooh, Capricorn. Interesting. Um, so how are you doing my Capricorns? We have the final eclipse in their Cancer Capricorn eclipses. I don't know which one that was. Please bring it out again. I think I know which one it's meant to be. Please show me again. Um, the energy for some of you, um, depending on which deacon of Capricorn you are, could be feeling quite intense. You have a lot of swords energy here, Capricorn. So be careful not to be too much in your head. Um, but ultimately, I'm seeing a lot of energy here around intimate relationships and love. There's a connection here, Capricorn. I think that was part of your reading. Um, forgive me that I did uh, for you last week as well. It was like, don't fear this connection. There's a connection here, Capricorn. Um, one card, please, for their health. And finally, one card for their overall spiritual soul message, their chakra message, what's the most important thing for them to know? There it is. Beautiful. Okay, so Capricorn, I'm just going to adjust the camera so that you can see a little bit better. Hopefully that'll give you a better view. All right. So of course, Capricorn, you get not one, but two cards on your relationship energy. Um, I'm sure, and correct me if I'm wrong, write in the comments below if you remember, but I'm sure that I said to you when I was doing the reading and I was going through the energy that was coming through that I had a sneak peek at the end of the deck, the bottom of the deck, and I saw this energy, this union energy, the two of cups. Well, it's come through again. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Pisces. I have the card of Pisces here, and it's coupled with the seven of swords. So in both instances, these cards, when I see them together, can talk about deceptive behavior, um, someone not being their, their true self or someone wearing a mask, um, not being honest. And this could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Um, it could be another water sign, um, Cancer or Scorpio, but this is the, the main energy that I'm getting coming through. So um, for some of you, it could have felt like um, this connection, this new connection deceived you in some way. It could have um, come on quite strongly and felt really intense and then could have felt like, hold on, what's going on here? Are you deceiving me? And the reason why I say that is because you have the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. So this shows me your energy of trying to emotionally pull back and move on. Capricorn, you were so wise. The moment that you get a sniff of something not being um, above par and intuitively you get that feeling, you tend to pull your energy back very quickly. Um, the message here is actually saying, just wait, try not to rush into making a judgment call too quickly. We do have Mercury retrograde at the moment, so it's causing a lot of people to be up in the air. Um, but we also have that shadow period of Venus retrograde until the end of the month. So it could be a lot of toing and froing backwards and forwards. You are going to get the clarity that you seek about this particular situation, Capricorn. Now, What's interesting, and I love when I see this in tarot readings, is you have a beautiful progression here. For some of you, this may not be in um, a romantic, intimate relationship. It could be, this refers to spiritual union, a soulmate, right? It can refer to as twin flame, although I'm not getting other cards supporting that here in this deck. You will know if that resonates for you. Um, I am getting a strong pull to it being romantic just because of the way that it flows, but it could be a friendship. It could be family, whatever that, that um, relationship is for you, Capricorn. But I wanna show you what I see here. Very quickly, 
you have this feeling of going from seven of swords to eight of swords to nine of swords within a week, right? So whatever happens at this eclipse under this full moon eclipse, yes, Capricorn, you can't make this shit up. Um, it's really going to open up your eyes. And what's interesting is that I think you need to forgive someone. Okay. I think you really need to forgive someone so that you can move on someone who hasn't been maybe completely honest with you, Capricorn, or maybe they just even haven't been honest with themselves. Now, I feel like if you're questioning this connection, and I said this to you last week, don't fear this connection, Capricorn. Um, I feel like if you're questioning um, this connection and you want a confirmation that it is something real, that there is something here, this is your confirmation. Yes, Capricorn, this is something real. This is something there. This is something that is going to eventuate for you. It may not happen in this week, but it is going to eventuate in divine right timing, divine right order. Um, just know... I feel like, yeah, there it is. I feel like you're going to get an apology. Um, I feel like this person's going to communicate with you, Capricorn, and really want to um, show you how they feel. Um, because if I just go a little bit further in the deck past the uh, Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords, I then have the Page of Wands extending an olive branch and wanting to apologize for behavior, poor behavior, lots of communication and then mentally moving on from a situation. Your person, your Pisces person could be suffering from depression within themselves and they feel like they've lost out in life and they're not worthy enough and not good enough for you and for this connection. Even though when you have a look, there's those two beautiful cups standing upright and you're seeing it clearly Capricorn. For once in your life, Capricorn, you're the balanced one. <laughs> um, and you're seeing it clearly and going, no, hey, don't be stupid. There's so much amazing goodness happening and that's here in this connection in between us right beautiful beautiful energy so i'm not going to go too much down the rabbit path or otherwise we'll be here all day but um i just want you to know if there is something that has gone on and it's felt like you've been deceived or someone wasn't telling you the truth um it's because they didn't know within themselves what they wanted and where they were going um and the lesson here is for you to if you truly feel this and you will know if you feel this if you feel that there is something here capricorn and it's worthy then the lesson for you is about forgiving and learning okay now i'm going to read for you these two cards this is the eight of swords and the nine of swords as i said you're progressing very quickly capricorn i'm going to read them both to you in their spiritual meaning so you can get an idea of what is going on for you this week eclipses always come in to eclipse out a situation perhaps they could be eclipsing out um, this person and it could be ending the connection however i don't see that at all i see it the opposite way i see it eclipsing out um the particular situation or whatever happened to give you fear and doubt the connection which is what i was getting in your reading last week and then it'll bring you closer together by the end of the week as soon as you move further away um, in your romantic sector you have helpless and hopeless and it says restricted obstacles powerless in action this is the eight of swords in traditional tarot while the title of this card may sound bleak don't let it scare you this a card as this card arrives as a wake-up call to adjust your thinking about a situation or relationship you may feel that obstacles have been placed in your way preventing you from achieving your dreams around love you may think that your situation is beyond hope and that you are powerless to improve it nothing could be further from the truth however what did i say right it's here capricorn this beautiful union is here all that is required is a willingness to take action, assess your current state of affairs and decide what needs to change. Then take decisive steps to make those changes and move yourself into a position of empowerment. By taking action, you could char you take charge of the situation. Feel the power in that. Recognize that you do have the ability to create the relationship of your dreams. Nothing can hold you back unless you let it. Take charge, step into your power and watch your relationships flourish. Right. So it's a really important message that you still have the ability to take control of this situation, Capricorn, that you still have the ability to be, be positive. And I really want you to try and be positive this week because you've got coming out with it is the nine of swords. So you either you or the person that you're dealing with has, has the ability to slip into this anxiety uh, phase. Um, and this is typically the nine of swords. So it speaks about like that guy lying in bed swords all above him. It's quite a bleak, dark card. 
Um, but I'm going to read the, the meaning of this to you so you can see what I'm talking about. It says, having love in your life is crucial. When a relationship does not go as planned or when a desired relationship does not materialize, it's easy to lose yourself in worry and doubt. You may even question your own worthiness. Don't do that, Capricorn. Okay. It's easy to become obsessed with all of your darkest fears regarding love. Don't let your anxieties paralyze you into a total state of inaction. Dwelling on your worries only feeds them with energy, allowing them to consume you and overshadow everything else. Take a moment to determine what might be troubling your heart. The anxiety might be obvious or quite subtle. Once you identify it, desire if it's something you can resolve on your own or if you need assistance, and then take appropriate action. If you determine that it's a worry over which you have no control, ask spirit to help you release it. So the reason why they've come out together, and particularly in this order, is to show you not to allow yourself to get into this position and overthink this situation, okay? Not to allow yourself to get into this phase and feel hopeless and helpless. You actually have the ability to step out of it and step into a higher vibration. And how do you do that? Spirit's saying to me, tell them how to do that. So the first thing is recognize the situation and own, have accountability for your role to play in it. There's always two sides. Your role may be small. You may not be the person that's caused this situation. And I dare say it's, it's your um, other person that you're dealing with, but it's still important to recognize the part that you had to play in it. That's the whole point of two people coming together in union, right? And then you need to forgive both yourself and your other person. This card is beautiful. Um, I'm going to read it for you. It's number 28 for those that are big on numbers. Um, and it talks all about um, breathing out resentment. Okay. Forgiveness will set you free. Holding on to past hurts and regrets is like poison that runs through your veins and keeps you stuck in the past and unable to move on to better things often taking up a huge amount of energy preoccupying thoughts and lives. Forgiveness of others who have done you wrong does not mean that you condone their behavior. It simply means that you no longer allow it to cause you harm. That's where you have the control, Capricorn. You don't give it any more energy, yeah? You address it, you acknowledge it, and then you choose to move on. And as soon as you do that, you get closer to this, that beautiful back and flow harmony, notebook, sick love kind of stuff. People often confuse letting go with pardon and they are two very different things. Forgiveness of self also plays a huge role in your happiness and ability to move forward. Breathe in the aroma of self-love and acceptance and breathe out the need to hold on to emotions that do not serve you. You are ready to set yourself free and to make space in your thoughts and heart for all the beauty, love and joy that you deserve. Isn't that gorgeous? So let it go, Capricorn. Um, the mantra that comes with this says, I choose forgiveness in order to set myself free. Capricorn, absolutely beautiful reading this week. Um, it's maturity that I'm seeing here in this reading, okay? It's maturity of self, it's maturity of connection, and it's showing me how you've leveled up in your um in your relationships, be they romantic in nature, be they friendship in nature, um, be they family in nature, whatever way it is, it's time for you to be the bigger person here, Capricorn, release and let it go so that you can get back into this beautiful space of harmony, of love, happiness and joy. Because it's coming for you, Capricorn, whether you're ready or not. All right, my loves, I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, if you resonated, please write in the comments below. I love reading all of them. It feels so good to be back and reading for you. Um, and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.